there have been a number of workflow improvements across all areas of the application in 11.2. Unreal Bridge now has a more compact UI for push actions, including checkboxes for items, textures and materials. It now also supports subfolders. With search subfolder enabled, assets with the same names within subfolders will be updated instead of duplicated. Bridge now works with multiple Modo scenes, allowing you to switch between Modo scenes when the connection is live. And there are now more precise export progress bars on both the Modo and Unreal side. Modo now has principled BDRF support and gives you more simplified, artist friendly parameters with which to control shading. A new scene cleanup command has been added. When run, it will remove any empty meshes and groups and will purge any unused schematic nodes, images, materials, and deformers. The channel hall tool now has a button in the top right hand corner of its UI that when enabled will force the UI to automatically display any user channels associated with the selected mesh. A new playblast command has been added which gives you more options when recording OpenGL viewports. It has a dedicated UI that allows you to use the scene frame size, set a resolution multiplier, set video format, codec and quality and also select any camera defined in the scene. The name of the currently selected render pass is now displayed in the bottom right hand corner of the 3D viewport. The advanced viewport now supports group mask texture layers. There is now an option in viewport properties to hide the camera framing region. And finally checkboxes have been added for disabling and enabling foreground and background camera images.